gentlemen, what's going on, man? This is 1247, a great one. Getting back at you guys once again and all that good stuff. Today is a good day to be great. Yeah, yeah. Check this out, fellas. If you guys didn't know, there's something on the internet, on the BLM, I, I don't know, I believe it's on the, it's on the, it's on the internet, but it's called uh, The Young Lady Was Twerking for Martin Luther King. You guys can go Google it right now. It's called Put In Google Twerking for Martin Luther King. That young lady will pop right up. Once again, a dark skinned sister with a crazy weave twerking for Martin Luther King. A young lady, 20 something years old, twerking. Martin Luther King. Gentlemen. 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 Twerking for Martin Luther King. You are a young lady, 20 something years old. You don't even know who Martin Luther King was. You don't know where he was born, when he was born, what high school he went to, his accomplishment. If I could ask a young lady anything about Martin Luther King, you probably have, she has absolutely no idea who the man is. But you're going to twerk for Martin Luther King under the banner of Black Lives Matter? Do you gentlemen not see what the heck is going on? Now, once again, I don't know if Black Lives Matter has officially sponsored this so-called twerk. So I'm not going to, I can go in. I could really go in. Like I could go ham right now on Black Lives Matter. Uh, uh, if, if they officially authorize this. But, like I said, I, I believe it's on their website. You guys can go check it out yourself. You can Google Martin Luther King twerk under the BLM. I believe it's under the BLM uh, website. Whether it's Black Lives Matter or not, it doesn't matter. I, may, well, I, can, I don't know that. Like I said, I, I'm, not going, I'm not going to officially blame them for anything. I, I'll get to that a little bit later. But here's the thing, Johnson. What in God's name is going on with the American black woman and this twerking nonsense? This twerking has freaking taken a mind of its own. Why did this young lady twerk in the name of Martin Luther King? Does that make any sense whatsoever? You're going to twerk in the name of Martin Luther King? Gentlemen, do we not, do we not, what is it about what so-called, what, as, as far as what black men do, American black men, what is it about that, the things that we do make these women want to disrespect the hell out of you? Because no female in all of, since he man's been dead over 50 some years, has ever twerked in the name of Martin Luther King, ever. So what possessed this young lady to twerk in the name of Martin Luther King? That doesn't even make sense. This man has a legacy and you're about to get, you about to twerk your funky behind in, at, at the at the National Mall in D, Washington D.C. in the name of Martin Luther King, gentlemen, do you not see what what? Once again, I'm not I'm not pre, I'm not trying to preach discord, but once again, this is the third incident within the last two months with the so-called American black man. And a so-called American black woman, again, twerking in Dallas restaurants, 
twerking in D.C. Gentlemen, what more do you need to see? A blatant disrespect for icon, for an icon, not only for the so-called for the uh, American black community, but an icon all over the planet Earth. You're twerking in the name of Martin Luther King because you want to express yourself sexually. Who gave this woman the okay to even do something like that? That doesn't even make sense. I guess, once again, here's the thing. I can see, fine, you want to talk for Martin Luther King? Okay, 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 okay. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but I can see if it was maybe an older woman, because once again, the older generations were around when he was alive. They still be tacky as hell. But then, okay, it's like, okay, well, your grandmother out there twerking for Martin Luther King. Okay, you know, grandma, grandma's in her maybe late 60s, so you would, she was there. You know, I mean, that still be tacky as hell, but I mean, I can be like, okay, like, wow, okay, she dancing for Martin Luther King. You were there, so you knew what was going on. This, this young lady has no idea who Martin Luther King is. You just know you get a day off from school, from work. Wherever you work, you work federally, and you get the day off. That's all you know. This lady don't, this young lady don't know anything about Martin Luther King. But the audacity to sit there and to, to, to once again, prop your butt up to twerk for a man who was a global icon, but you're going to twerk for this man. Ladies, it's... Sisters, I'm going to let you know right now. It's looking very bad for the American black woman right now. It's looking very bad. It was bad before, but this might be the, this, this might be the icing on the cake. Ladies, I don't know. Y'all need to come together, get, get in a huddle or something. Because this, that, sisters, that's how you would say in church. That's blasphemy. Martin Luther King wasn't about no twerk. I can see this man had, back in the 60s, he had all types of dancers twerking on when he was making his speech. Okay, cool, I got you. I, you know what I'm saying? Martin Luther King ain't no, he ain't Luke. You know, if you out there twerking for Luke, okay, I get that. You know? Dudu Brown and all the other stuff. Once again, if you twerking for Luke, okay, I get that. But you're twerking for Martin Luther King, I mean, young lady. That's blasphemy. But once, once again, gentlemen, look at the bigger picture. Like, that shouldn't even made it on the internet. That shouldn't even made it on the internet. But it doesn't matter because it's an American black man. It doesn't matter. He was an American black man. And we're gonna treat you the way we wanna treat you. See, gentlemen, it's a blatant disrespect. It's a it's I mean it's so blatant, gentlemen. It's it's so much in your face right now. Gentlemen, you can't deny anything. You can't even fake the funk. You can't say, oh, there's no gentlemen, it's a blatant disrespect for it. American black man by the so-called American black woman. Gentlemen, I don't know what else to tell you. You mean to tell me this female, this young lady, once again, who propped this female up to go twerk on the behalf in the name of Martin Luther King? Who propped this young girl up there? Because I'm pretty sure, and I don't know who paid you. Once again, it Going back to the Black Lives Matter, because you know Black Lives Matter is ran by George Soros. So I don't know if George Soros and his people propped this young lady up to the twerk. I don't know what type of money they gave her. Once again, so obviously she got she, she probably they gave her somebody gave her a big check because ain't ain't nobody in their right mind has ever twerked in the name of Martin Luther King ever. Like nobody, nobody on planet Earth has ever twerked 
in the, on an, in the name of Martin Luther King. Nobody's done this. I don't care what nationality, I don't care what race, ethnicity, nobody has twerked on the behalf of Martin Luther King. Nobody. But now, in 2021, we're going to twerk for Martin Luther King. So once again, we're going to twerk for Malcolm X and and uh, we're going to twerk for Michael, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we're going to twerk for John, uh, what's his name? John Carlos. Huh? We're going to twerk for, on, on behalf of, uh, I mean, there's so many, Marcus Garvey. I mean, there's so many, you know. Uh, I mean, James, ba I mean, there's, I guess it's James Baldwin. I mean, there's so many different men I can name throughout history. That's, that's, I mean, you're going to twerk on behalf, on the behalf of the Black Panthers. I mean, how far is this going to go? So every, uh, we're going to twerk on, uh, on the behalf of, uh, 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 Emmett Till. I'm going to twerk on the behalf of Emmett Till. Really? So we're just gonna make a mockery of what these men have have died for. On the, Malcolm X, we're gonna twerk on behalf of Malcolm X. Let's twerk on behalf of uh, of uh, Muhammad Ali. Let's twerk on the behalf of. Uh, I mean, there's I mean, there's so many people I can I can I can name brothers that's out here that's 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 out there paving the way. Jackie Robinson, who broke the, the color barrier in, in, in the major leagues, and you know, I mean, there's so many different brothers back in the day that's that made so many different marks and inventions and all types of things we were doing to to uh, for equality and to get recognized basically as a human being. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to twerk on behalf of him, regardless. Once again, what other woman on planet Earth is going to twerk on the behalf of a, of a, of any man in her culture that's made an impact? I've never seen a so-called Indian woman twerk on the behalf of Mahatma Gandhi. I've never seen, I believe, uh, Confucius, I believe he was Chinese, I believe from China. But I've never seen a, a Chinese woman twerk on behalf of Confucius. Never seen a Greek woman or Roman woman, and I mean, there's Hannibal the Great. I mean, there's so many different men I can name in these different cultures and these different nations. I've never seen a female twerk on the in the name of whatever this iconic man is. I've never seen any other woman ever twerk on the behalf of any of her men. I know you might say, "Man, twelve, bro, you going? Do you going? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not going hard enough." Because what woman in her right mind is going to twerk in the name of, of a, a global iconic man, then throw some feminism on, on top of it, and you want to sexually uh, uh, express yourself? So why don't you come up like this? You could have went up there the day after uh, Martin Luther King Day and just been twerking. You want to make a twerk video? If you just wanted to twerk on Washington, whatever, you could have just went out there and just twerked on any day of the week besides Martin Luther King Day, that doesn't make sense. If you want to sexually express yourself, boo-boo, you could have went the day after Martin Luther King Day and been twerking. The day before Martin Luther King Day and been twerking. But you're going to wait till Martin Luther King Day to twerk? I mean, yo, it's, fellas, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. I don't know what else to tell you, gentlemen. You got twerking in Dallas in a restaurant, a black owned restaurant from a guy named Kevin, Kevin Smiles or whatever. You know, of course, then you, a week later, you had the Kevin Samuels incident. And all of a sudden, what, a month later, now you got twerking on, on a DC monument for Martin Luther King? Like, gentlemen, what, what more do we. Like, ladies, what? I mean, seriously, you. You ladies need to get in the group huddle because you guys talking about some protected black woman sisters. There is nobody that's gonna that's that's not gonna catch a bullet for none of y'all. It's looking it's looking it's looking really 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 bad right now, and you're not gonna even listen. 
you women are not gonna part your lips to tell a so-called American black man to protect you. That's not gonna happen, ever. You twerking in the name of Martin Luther King? Ladies, have you lost your freaking mind? If you want to, if you want to give the benediction, that was the benediction. Churches, the church service is really over. Ain't nobody gonna catch no bullet for no American black woman. Sisters, I'm sorry. You sisters need to come together, get in a group huddle, and y'all need to straighten this out. Straighten this out quickly, quick, fast, in a hurry. Because it's it's getting it's getting out of control right now. If she did this to Martin Luther King, what else y'all gonna do twerk on? Y'all gonna go to Trayvon Martin's grave and you gonna twerk at tw Trayvon Martin's grave? You gonna go to uh, uh, George Floyd's grave? You gonna twerk? You gonna twerk for George Floyd? Huh? Once again, so my my thing is this. Okay, cool. So you twerk for Martin Luther King. So you gonna twerk for uh, Harriet Tubman? So you gonna twerk for Harriet Tubman? What about Sojourner Truth? You gonna twerk uh, for Sojourner Truth? Sister, uh, Sister Sojourner, you gonna you gonna go out there and twerk for her? Rosa Parks, you gonna twerk uh, twerk for her? Uh, let's twerk. Let's, let's twerk for Rosa. Right? You want to talk for Rosa? You gonna go to Rosa Parks' grave and um to get get your to uh get uh, put your hands on your on your knees and then uh, put your butt in the air. Get your get your butt clapping for uh, Rosa Parks. Huh? Maya Angelou, right? You gonna you gonna uh, twerk for Maya Angelou? Maya Angelou, I'm sorry. Let's twerk for Maya Angelou. Let's go to Maya Angelou's grave. Get uh go go get your camera. Go get your lights. Get the, get the music playing in the background. You know, get uh, do uh, my Angelou, uh, my Angelou, uh, what's her name? Um, get one of her little poems. Get one of her poems. Follow the drinking gourd or something like that. And uh, put the put the music on and uh, twerk for uh, my Angelou, right? Right. I rise. Go 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 ahead. Put the I rise uh, the I rise clip in the, in the background while you twerk for my Angelou, right? What about uh, what's her name? Coret Coretta Scott King. Coretta Scott, you're gonna twerk for Coretta Scott. Let's twerk for Coretta Scott, right? We're gonna be out here twerking for Coretta Scott King. We're gonna uh, you know, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a video clip. Go ahead and get you a video clip. Go get you something that, that can edit it out. Get you a uh, video clip of uh, Coretta Scott King. And uh, we're gonna go and put put on some Luke or something and um and twerk for Coretta Scott King. Watch if you don't get shot. But once again, we can we can we can twerk for Martin Luther King. I mean, fellas, I don't know what else to tell y'all. I don't know. I seriously, I'm dead. I'm dead serious, fellas. I don't know what else to. What what more can we say right now? You talking about some black love, but you're gonna who condone? Once again, who condone this female to twerk in the name of Martin Luther King? You mean to tell me, sisters, y'all, y'all, like sisters, y'all should be fighting to get whatever this is taken down immediately. Once again, if you have so much this so-called love for the so-called American black man, you sisters should be fighting. You should be, if this is Black Lives Matter, this is under a Black Lives Matter uh, banner or website, whatever it is, you sisters should be fighting you should be marching. You should be protesting that type of material. Because there's no way in God's name that female should be twerking in the name of Martin Luther King. That's that's asinine. That's beyond. That's beyond the beyond. I can't. I can't even put that in words right now. How how silly this is. This is going. This is going beyond the realms of the sanity. This is. This is. This, we're in another universe right now. This is this is, gentlemen. We we in another we we in um. What's, what's my man, the battle rapper, Danny Myers. We in a parallel universe, gentlemen. 
what woman in her right mind is going to twerk for an iconic man in her in her in her uh, in her race or culture? You got a uh, what's buddy name uh, from South uh, Nelson Man Nelson uh, uh, Nelson Mandela. I've never seen a so-called South African woman, if it either she be black or white, twerking on the behalf of uh, Nelson Mandela. I've never seen this. There's Buddha. I've never seen, uh, I believe Buddha's, I, I don't know if he was from India or from Thailand or what. I've, I've never seen a so-called South, uh, South Asian woman twerk on the behalf of Buddha. Confucius, I believe Confucius, whatever. Like, I've never seen any other woman. I've never seen a. Uh, uh, hell, I did. They got the even in Brazil, they got the big old Jesus Christ, uh, the Redeemer statue. I've never seen a Brazilian woman twerk for Jesus Christ at the Redeemer statue in Brazil. I've never seen this happen. I mean, there's so many different statues and iconic men. That all I mean all over the place. I've never seen any woman. I believe Marcus Garvey was, uh, was from Jamaica. I've never seen a, a, a Jamaican sister twerk on behalf. I've never seen any. I mean, he might be. I mean, I've never seen a, a woman from the Caribbean. He gotta be from Jamaica. I've never seen any woman uh, from the Caribbean twerk on behalf of Marcus Garvey. I mean, so many men. Noble Ju Ali. I've never seen anyone these so-called uh, these Moors sisters put a fez on and twerk on behalf of Noble Ju Ali. I've never seen this. I've never seen these sisters twerk on behalf. I know uh, uh, brother brother Louis Farrakhan, the honorable. He's still alive, but I've never seen a sister from the Nation of Islam twerk on the behalf of of Louis Farrakhan. Never seen this. So gentlemen, I, I don't know what's I don't know what else to tell you. I, I really don't know what else to tell you, man. This is crazy. This is not I can't we can't this there's this is oh, gentlemen, I'm I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say right now. And it's funny because I watch I forgot I've forgotten all about it until I just watched the clip just now with these two brothers talking about the twerking. Um I think I watched O'Shea the other day before or last yesterday on the twerk on DC. But gentlemen, what I mean, what else do you need to see right now? Like, sisters, there is absolutely no way you can sit there and part your mouth and tell a so-called a black American man to come save you. Sisters. Young lady twerking on DC was the benediction. I'm sorry. I mean, it was over, but I think I think it's over, over. Once again, I know there's there's a lot of you sisters out here that's holding it down. We ain't talking about y'all, but my goodness, sisters, y'all need to come together and protest this. Like this is crazy, and this is what we're showing the world, ladies. This is what you, this is what you ladies are showing the planet Earth. What you feel about the so-called American black man? You have a global iconic man who's been dead for over 50 years. And you have a female twerking in the name of Martin Luther King. This is an iconic man across the entire planet. Everybody on planet Earth knows Martin Luther King. Everybody. For this sister to come up there to twerk in the name of Martin Luther King, brothers, I don't know what else to I'm gonna say this again. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. For this to be even be on the internet, it's it's a stoop. Brothers, this is this is so much a slap in our faces. This is beyond belief. I can I can talk about oh Jada Smith and 
Jada and Will Smith and Blake Disrespect there and the Boris Kudrow and the old girl. And when Kobe Bryant passed away, this, that, and the third. And when even George Floyd, there was there was females was out there getting a little disrespectful with it. But gentlemen, Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. This man had nothing to do with twerking. I guess what's I guess once again, I can see if the man had twerkers on the day he was giving his speeches. I can see this. But Martin Luther King had his whole concept had nothing to do with you tooting your behind up and twerking. Gentlemen, what in God's name is going on? Sisters, I don't know what else to tell y'all. This might have been the icing on the cake. Because there is absolutely no way you can remotely part your mouth and say, brothers, come save us. Because it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I don't care who's feeling not hurt. Ladies, you cannot come out your mouth and tell any so-called brother to come save me. Sisters, it's not going to happen I'm sorry you sisters need to come together like ASAP I need to listen See, in order to rectify that y'all sisters gotta come together and make an apology she needs to come out and make an apology I'm not gonna yeah sisters I'm sorry y'all need to come as a group and make an apology because that's just unacceptable on so many different levels You're gonna to have to make a formal apology to that. So first of all, to the deceased, God, God rest the dead, and to his family. Because the thing is, you did that in the name of of, of somebody, of somebody's father, somebody's father, somebody's grandfather, somebody's great grandfather. You did this twerking on the behalf of some uh, of a family that you don't even know. You didn't call them people. You didn't call the. the the King family and asked them, can you do this type of dance in the name of their father, grandfather, uncle, whoever this man is to these people. You know, you didn't, you didn't call, um, the King family and ask none, none of the siblings. Can you, can you do this twerk dance on the behalf of their, like, like I said, their, their father, their grandfather, their uncle, great grandfather. You didn't call anybody. Ask them, can, can you do? Could you do this dance? But you did it anyways, because you didn't care. You didn't care. The most iconic man in, in so-called Black American history. You took a you took a dump on him. You took a dump on 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 Mr. Kevin in, in his in his Dallas restaurant, and now you're taking a dump on the most iconic man in world history. Ladies, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm sorry. All right. You're going to have to make an apology. There needs to be a formal apology, like ASAP. ASAP. Like, you can't, you ladies cannot wait to make an apology on this one. You ladies need to make an apology ASAP. Gentlemen, you see what you see. You can talk about black love if you want to. But gentlemen, it's a wrap. Anyways, man, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell when I upload these videos. But uh, gentlemen, let's let's, let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it. Is this is this the icing on the cake? Was this the cherry on top of the cake? Was this it, gentlemen? Like, what what more can we do here? What more can we do here? Because if you're going to disrespect the most iconic man in world history, gentlemen, there is no hope for you. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.